No, you have time to talk to me. You don't want to. So do the walk of shame and walk away from me with your head down. You'd be shocked to see the number of corrupt cops in the system. Today, we'll discuss some cases in which these evil tyrants were exposed and humbled by these auditors. In July 20th, 24, the First Amendment auditor, who goes by his YouTube channel Utah Defender, was filming the Davis County Sheriff's Office parking lot when he noticed that the deputy's vehicles didn't have front number plate. Curious, he asked a chief deputy about it, and the response he received was shocking. We have, there's a truck. How about that, huh? There it is. There's the VIN number right there. And so they don't have to have license plates on the front of your car at all. None whatsoever. Here's another one. Why do you guys have no license plates on your cars? I believe I do. Really? Well, a month ago I did this. I've already gone past nine cars that are parked in your special area. Yeah. And none of them have license plates on it. Why? Not my cars. I can't answer you. What is your name? Arnold Butcher. And are you the chief of the sheriff for Davis County? Because I live in this county. Yeah, I'm one of the chief deputies here. Okay, and you have no reason why you guys are privileged not to have a front license plate on your car. Uh, you're talking about asking about individual vehicles and... Um... Deputy Butcher met his match in the form of this auditor who was not ready to let him loose. That's when the ignorant deputy started to walk away. This is your responsibility. You're supposed to set an okay. example to the citizens of Davis County, are you not? Yeah. I appreciate your input, Walt. No, you don't, because yes. nothing's been done about okay. it. I put a complaint on I've it. I've got to get in, so oh, thanks, you can, Walt. No, you have time to talk to me. You don't want to. So do the walk of shame and walk away from me with your head down. That's what you're doing. You guys are pricks, you know that? You guys think you're above the fucking law and you don't have to go by it, right? Have a good day, Walt. Oh, piss. When cops say have a good day, it's the same thing as saying fuck. I used to be a cop, buddy. I know. You're... You guys are terrible, and you're not going to do nothing about it, are you? I'm going to come back again, and pretty soon, your phones are going to be overloaded with people calling across this country. So be a heart, dip, walk away from me, and not give me an explanation. So you just saw one of the chiefs wearing their phony goddamn stars. And here's another one right here. The auditor didn't seem to care about the deputy as he kept insulting him. Surprisingly, the corrupt deputy chickened out and refused to offer any explanation. The auditor soon departed the sheriff's office, and it's unclear if he has filed a complaint yet. Surprisingly, this wasn't the last time a police officer was owned and humbled by an auditor. Bro, listen, if you're scared for your job, get a different job, brother. If you're scared, if you're that big of a get a different job, brother. First Amendment auditor, who goes by the name News Now South Carolina, decided to audit the McDowell County Sheriff's Office's part parking lot. As he entered the building, he faced resistance from the employee. Hello, how you doing? Hey, um, I work for a news media group. I'll be doing some coverage on the upkeep of the service cars out in the parking lot. Just want to come let y'all know that I'll be out there. Hello, how you doing? Hey, I work for a news media group. I'm I'm self-employed. I'd be doing a, a cover story about the upkeep of the service cars out in the parking lot, the marked and unmarked cars. So I'll be in and out of both parking lots. Just want to come let y'all know that I'll be out there. Okay. Uh, Thank I'm you. I'm not give it. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're not going to give us a name or tell us what it's for. Well, I've, it's just it's just personal publication. That's all. That's all it is. What, but what is it concerning? I mean, what marked we versus unmarked? It. We can't read your publication. Oh. Well, once I release it, I'm sure it'd be, it'd be viewable everywhere. I just haven't released the story yet, nor have I released the core of it yet. So I just, but I can't say it much. Concerning? I mean, just public. Just, that's it. The auditor had no reason to give his details as he was engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. Despite this, the receptionist called the deputies and the captain who started to gang up on the poor guy. I'm Captain, I'm Captain Ground Staff. Nice Sheriff's to meet you, partner. Office. Good to meet you. Like I just explained to her, I've right. done nothing wrong. I'm just out here taking pictures and I'll be on my way. She's asked me for my name. They've asked me for ID and I've done nothing wrong. Okay. And the first thing you asked me was for my ID and I've done nothing what are you wrong. Here Do you have warrants or anything? Do you expect me having a warrant? I don't know. Well, well, I don't understand so why who you are all, all of you people here? Can I have I'm name Chief, and badge numbers? I'm Chief Deputy Nathan Mays. Nathan Mays. You're Andy. 
This is Jason. And who are you? Smith. Smith. Yep. You're, Why are you taking pictures of our cars? Because you're they're on pu- our property. They're public. This is public property. These are public service vehicles. Why are you taking pictures of them? Because some of these are undercover cars. But they're in so public view. So you know view. who comes and take pictures of undercover cars? Well, that's your perception. Okay. I can't. I can't judge you We're for your perception. We're going to ask you to leave if you don't give yeah. us. Well, sir, this is okay. public property, and if you ask me to leave public property, it's actually that is actually county property. Which is public. This is tax funded. This isn't paid for through some public. Um, I mean, some private you got organization. Any ID on you? I do not. I haven't committed a crime, so What's you don't need my. I, I don't want to give. I haven't committed a crime, and this isn't a stop in ID state. You have to be able to give me reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime, and you can't give me that. So I haven't committed a crime. Surprisingly, one of the captains expressed his displeasure with the auditor filming a public parking lot. But things were about to take an even worse turn. Okay, well, we have undercover cars. You need to leave. That don't need to be. Dead. You're asked to leave this okay. property now, so you need to leave. Can I ask you what your job title is here? I'm captain. You're captain. Yeah. So as captain, you don't know that you can't. Tell me to leave from a public I can, space. I can tell you to leave from but this here. is public, and I can, can tell you. Tell you leave but this here. is public okay. property, sir. Okay. This we is don't public. Need our vehicles. Well, this isn't about what you need. This is about the Constitution okay. telling me that I have the right to my first, second, fourth, okay. and fifth well, amendment. If you're done taking video, then you you can tell us why you're taking video. I'm gonna and step pictures. this way because I don't like this officer behind me. I'm gonna step this way. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna stand this okay. way so I can see him. That's all. Well, like I said. But again, you I'm. Can tell I'm, us why you're videoing. And because the Constitution says I can. If you want to take that up, you go. That's. Take that up with the four founding fathers of the country. Okay. The Constitution tells me I can do this, and it's and it's and it's and it's unconstitutional for you to allow him to tell me that I have to leave this public space when this That's is public right, property. Is that is unconstitutional, and that is against your oath. Okay. That is against your oath. Here we go. We're asking you to leave. All I want you to do you is honor your name. oath, sir. I'm not giving you I'll my name. You, I, Just honor your oath. Officer, listen to me, okay? There's a gap well, between Americans, do. but well, there's a... you to stand here and photograph our cars? Yo, drive your cars and people can see me in public. What's the difference? If my eyes can see them, so can my camera. It appears that our law enforcement officers are almost unaware of the Constitution and the law. The auditor took these officers to a law class, but the captain grew more agitated with each passing second. Y'all don't drive these cars. on are not going to produce ID, you're going to leave. Sir, I don't have to leave because I'm not telling you my name. Tell me. Tell me the statute that says if you don't identify yourself to a police officer, you're you have to leave. In our but that's not a crime. That's not a felony nor misdemeanor. And you should know that. That's not a felony or a misdemeanor. Okay, do you have any weapons on your I anything? don't. You, you can you mind if I check you? Pat me down, please, okay. sir. He's going to pat me down. Go ahead. There's no weapons on me. That's fine. Okay. Don't want to give us your name. We feel it's here for our safety, so we're going to make sure you don't have any weapons. That's fine, sir. Please search all you need. I have nothing on me yet, you other than my keys. You don't have any weapons? No, sir. You can check both legs. That's, uh, I'm literally just here to take pictures and videos, but I just don't think hey, it's wait, fair. Are you done? You've been here for a few minutes. Are you done uh, taking I'm, your pictures I'm not, and videos? I, I would have been done if I didn't get interrupted, but but what I don't agree to is that there are some few high-ranking officers here who I respect their work from you guys, but to allow him to go against his oath and tell me that I have to leave a public space, that's unconstitutional. And there's already a gap between Americans and LEOs because of this type of okay. stuff. And for you to allow him to tell me that I that he can make me leave public property, okay, well, that's unconstitutional. Well, no, so can you right, please correct okay, this officer? Now you're talking to me. Okay. Well, can you please correct this officer and, and ask him to honor his oath when dealing with law-abiding citizens? Okay. That's all I want you to do. Well, the auditor was making complete sense, as if these cars were undercover. Then they should be placed at an undercover plate. He agreed to leave, but asked the captain to speak with his fellow, who was acting like a maniac throughout. Okay, we're trying to protect our officers. But your job is to protect what the you public. What you with that camera, putting that stuff wherever it's going to end up, whether it be social media or whatever. But you're a public servant. But you're a public servant. You don't put that badge on to come make sure he's safe every day. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do, but I want you to understand what I'm saying. You just allowed this officer to try to violate my rights, and you didn't say nothing about it. Yes, you did. There's five or six officers out here. Listen to this man tell me that I have to leave this public space, and I can't. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. And if y'all are going to follow and harass me. We're not harassing you. The mayor. You come on our property, sir. This is my property. Let me, let me explain something to you. No, this is not. This is county property. Which is not public. public property, which what I'm telling you is this, okay? Let me hear when We run a facility here, a detention okay. facility and everything else. It's got inmates confined in here. So when somebody's up here, they don't want to tell us their name or what they're doing here. We get suspicious. So what I'm telling you is that you can leave this property now, or you, it's county-owned property, and what? you're going to get charged with trespassing, okay? Can so I see the I'm affidavit? Asking, well, I'm asking you to leave now, okay? Well, can I ask you a question? So, no. I'm, I'm on my way done. out, but I'm going to ask you a question. Leave, okay? So you're asking me to leave. So you're not telling well, me that I'm, I'm by law you, I have to. I'm asking you to please leave this property, okay? Or you want to arrest me? I'm, I'm telling you, there's a good chance you're going to end up getting charged with trespassing if you don't leave. But okay? I haven't been put on trespassing here. 
But you're being told I'll, now. But, okay, that. So I'll leave. You, you're I'll acting very suspicious but, to us because you don't want to tell us anything about it. But have I committed a we've crime? Got, we have got a I'm not inside there, sir. I'm not we've inside. Got a, well, we have an outside. I'm sorry. I'm talking to this officer here. Okay, but I haven't crossed not one of them gates. I am outside. When when the I'm people of the public want to come in this building, when pe where do they park? And people, there they, in here. We, you got your photo. You took a photo or whatever it is. That's fine. Now, now we're asking that you leave, okay? The officers acknowledged that he wasn't breaking any law, but still wanted him trespassed from the facility. At this point, the cops were acting like goons rather than law enforcement officers, threatening to remove him from the property. I don't have any weapons. What can I do? I don't have a self-detonating for everybody else. I don't have anything okay, well, on listen, me. We're not going to sit here and argue or anything. We're just asking you, because we have jobs to do, too. What okay? do them? I'm not telling you not to do your job. Well, I please, have a job to do. please leave, okay? Are you from Marion? Just please. I'm going to talk to you because he's irrational okay. at, at this point. Can you please <laughs> inform him that I, that this you're is really public? Yes, you're this irrational. Is, he just explained to you, sir, this is county-owned property, okay? So can you ban... We're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, you are subject to be charged with trespassing, okay? Can I ask what crime I've committed? That's all I want to know. Trespassing. How could I be trespassing when I have been put on trespassing here? But I haven't been put on trespassing. Now, okay? Where's your attorney? Can I talk? I, please, I, who's the chief of police here? That'd be me, bud. That'd be you. You're the chief of police. So as the chief of police, not, you want to talk to the chief of police? Yes, I do. I do. Okay, and well, then, and, and then part. I want the mayor because for all of you to tell me well, that I fine, go that chief, I have to leave this department. publicly owned building, if I had a business here, which I'm conducting a business, I would park in this parking lot here, correct? And I am in this public area of a parking lot, and what, he's going to tell what, me that I can't be here. What business are you conducting? So now we're getting personal with it. It was saddening to see every officer turning against the law, including the police chief, who was acting highly unreasonable and needed to be addressed. I'm taking pictures. For what reason? Because it's personal. It's, I, have a, I have a personal okay, business that I run, and the First Amendment of the Constitution tells me situation. I have the right to free press. Now, if you're going to wage okay. war on my constitutional rights and tell me that I can't do it, please tell me that. What? If you're going to wage Nobody's war on my constitutional rights and tell me I that I can't film... I don't know what film. you're trying to start or what... I'm not starting anything. But you started this by telling me that I'll be trespassed from a publicly owned area what because I'm, I'm filming. You it's if you took, you took is it private? Feet. Is it private? That's all I want to know. Can private anybody here tell me is this private property? It's it, owned by the county. Who pays for the county? Taxpayers. How can you tell me I can't be here? Are you a taxpayer in this county? Do you expect me or not to be? But this is still public. That's not. That's like telling me... Do you live in this I'm, I'm talking to this officer. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, I wouldn't because I. Because I. So go pay your taxes in South Carolina. So, so, you're so now you're telling me that I can't be here, ma'am. I'm talking to this young man here. Please don't. Please don't act like that. Please don't act like that, please. Because y'all are telling me that this is county property. Taxpayers pay for this, which means that y'all have no authority to make law abiding people leave here. You, you, you can't. But because I've been threatened with arrest and trespassing, I'm going to leave. Officer, I'm leaving. Come I don't want to ask any more questions. Uh, no, I'm leaving Come because this officer here please, is going to tell me. Bro, listen, if today. you're scared for your job, we get a different job, job, brother. If you're scared, if you're that big of a... Get a different job, brother. Get now, a different job. Now you're making it personal. Okay, no, no, no. no. He's made it personal. Come on. Now, how's I'm done talking to you. The auditor refused to back down as he did an excellent job holding these pigs accountable. The captain took him aside to discuss the incident, trying to address the situation and make sense of the events that unfolded. Your vehicle is parking lot? No, it's not. Okay. It's not. I won't. I do it under my time, okay? I do it under my time. But thank you for making yourself like an idiot on internet. Now you're making it personal. It's don't not personal. Call, don't call me chief deputy an idiot. No, you understand? No, no, I say he do made not himself look like one. I have the right to okay. free speech. I have the right to free speech. You ain't going to come on this property officer, and disrespect. Oh, but officer, they can disrespect that? me, though. I, don't, I never heard him disrespect you. By telling me that, that I can't be here. Sir, once again. But I'm, I'm asking you. And again, nice. thank you for okay. being professional because you're the only one that I can have a dialogue with. And I, and I respect that. But what I don't respect is these officers are telling me and intimidating me, telling me that I can't be here just because I make them suspicious. There's, that's not a felony or so a misdemeanor, officer. Have you ever worked in law enforcement? I have, I have law enforcement attorneys all through my family. I understand that. I, I, then, I don't don't know let me talk just a minute. Yes, sir. Okay? Go ahead. This is law enforcement center. Mm -hmm. You understand that? I do. We have narcotics officers. We have detectives. We have vehicles here that don't need to be seen by ordinary public. Do you understand that? So, okay, that's a threat to their safety. Now, cash that's a threat that to their safety. safety. I understand that. Do, you do understand now, that. Cash do you question. agree with me that te their so, video on social media is a threat to their safety? Now, you, do you agree with can me? Can I ask you a question? Answer my question. I do, but I don't. At the same time, because if it can be seen from public, I can film more photographic per the Constitution. If it's in public view, I can be seen. They don't hide these parking lots and garages that I went into to film this. This is in plain view right here. I'm having an uh, awesome dialogue. You stay right there, please. I'm talking to him. The chief turned out to be the biggest ignorant amongst the lot, as he didn't even allow the captain to finish his dialogue, urging him to step aside. It's a reminder that sometimes those in higher positions can be just as problematic as the officers they oversee. These are, this is, 
in public view. As me, you both can agree to that this is in public view. I didn't go behind this building here. I didn't go behind a fence. I didn't do any of that to see anything I saw. This is all in public. I can see th this car here. And I can see. I can see that car there from the road. Okay. So, so we're, we're going. Okay. So once again. But do you get what I'm saying though? It, it can be seen from public view. I can see that car from the road there. Okay. So that's like telling people What's when you doing? drive by here, please don't look at our parking lot. That's that's bogus. Actually, I don't because y'all interrupted me. I actually have two more cars I got to do, and then I'll be gone. I'll be gone. I have two more vehicles, and I'll be gone. We're asking you to leave now. Okay. You know what? For the fear of my safety, I will leave. But I want y'all to know that y'all have to be informed on public photography because this is unacceptable. Okay. This is completely unacceptable. And we'll you, we'll to talk. back up your chief, okay, to, we'll to act we'll like a complete. Oh, yeah, pl please do. Please do because right. you're going to hear from mine. All right. Sounds good. And you're who again? Grindstaff, Captain Grindstaff. Captain Grindstaff. I had no problem with him. I want to ask for his name. Okay. And the name of your chief, please, is? Chief Deputy Nathan Mace. Chief Deputy Nathan Mace. Yep. Thank, Thank you. Evening. Thank you. Y'all have made y'all. This is ridiculous here. The officers were illogical, which shows how freedom is taken so lightly by these cops. Shortly after, the auditor was forced to leave the building and had to end his video. Next, we have one of the most experienced First Amendment auditors, Sean Paul Reyes, going up against a tyrant officer. Ma'am, I just record all my interactions for transparency and accountability with- I'm not, with... I'm not gonna do that though. Why not? In July the 20th, 24, the auditor went inside the Suffolk County Traffic Violations Bureau to fight against the four tickets he had received earlier. Shortly after, the prosecutor tried to offer him a plea deal, but Sean had some other plan. Not a lot of people here. Hi, how are you? Good, I just need your comments Sure. Thank you, just have a seat, we'll fire you up. All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Hi, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> what they do? They give you tickets for fun facts. So they, yeah, they give me a, a ticket for each window. Um, I drive an SUV. I drive an SUV, ma'am. I'm sorry. I drive an SUV, and the back two windows, according to the motor vehicle traffic law, the back two windows of an SUV could be of any darkness. Okay. So he gave me one What's ticket. What's on your phone? Are you about to show me something? No, no, no. Oh, I don't okay. need to show you anything. You're about to show me something. No, no, no. I'm just saying he gave me, according to the law, he gave me two unlawful tickets. The back two windows could be of any darkness. Uh -huh. um, and again, I dispute the front two windows were of a legal darkness anyway. Sure. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the um, yeah, Right. Yeah. I, I And I appreciate that, ma'am, but I'm... Um, you said you would get dismissed three of them and charge me for one tin ticket. They're they're all unlawful, so I would just ask for time to get an attorney at that point and um, go to trial. John was all in for her kindness, but he was not going down without a proper fight. All the tickets were retaliatory, and he wanted to get them all dismissed to show a precedent to the corrupt sergeant who issued them. Shortly after, the official started to get agitated by his camera recording. What's your Right, because he never my my window tints. Can I put my phone down? Yeah. I I video. I, oh, okay. Are you are you a public servant? I record all my engage all my interactions with public servants. Ma'am, I just record all my interactions for transparency and accountability with with. Why not? Isn't the director here pro constitution? Brian Brown's right. He's pro First Amendment. I was told that the director here encourages constitutional activities. Sure, no problem. No problem. Wow, absolutely ridiculous. Because I'm recording for transparency, I'm recording our public servants in the course of their duty. It's an issue. But yet it's not an issue for them to record us as we are constantly being reminded of. Look at all these cameras in here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, the government employees seem too concerned about getting recorded. When you accept the job, you accept the public eye and the camera. So what the prosecutor tried to do was get me to agree to a plea bargain where I plead guilty. She takes away three of the tickets and leaves me only with one but I'm not willing to do that because they are retaliatory tickets from Sergeant Mio for exercising my First Amendment right. 
two of them are outright unlawful and the other two are not correct either they're not lawful either he didn't use a tint meter to get to gauge the light passing through my tints are legal he has to prove that in court so we're gonna take this to trial yes ma'am Tickets. Right. Um, three of them I'm going to dismiss, and the other one I'm going to drop the fine fee to 105. I appreciate that, ma'am. <clears throat> I appreciate that, ma'am. It's it's more about it's more than just the money for me. It's it's about the principal. Um, this officer gave me these tickets in retaliation for we had a we had a um, a previous reaction a previous interaction uh, before he pulled me over um, that he didn't like where I was recording him um, and he didn't like it, so he pulled me over for the tints. My tints are legal. The back two windows can be any darkness, so I would just like to consult an attorney if I can get a date so I can consult an attorney about moving forward. Moments later, the official changed her mind and decided to do what the auditor had asked her to do. This change was partly attributed to Brian Brown, the new director of the Traffic Violations Bureau, known for his pro-constitutional approach. Sure. That's fine, yeah. That's fine. So just have a seat. I appreciate you, um, I appreciate you negotiating the plea for me, but I just, it's a principal thing, not a money thing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Yep. No problem. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. August 26th, okay? August 26th, thank yeah. you, ma'am. You could come before that date if you want. You okay. Wait if you're not married to that date. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day, okay? Take care. So we have a new date here, August 26th. Hey, how are you guys? Good, good, good. Sean got a date and quietly left the bureau after recording a bit. He didn't experience any difficulty as the officers appeared much more relaxed to be in front of the camera. Well, this might have been a walk in the park, but these next cops turned out to be quite worse. I'm so upset with law enforcement and the reason that... No, no, we're not. We're not. Come on, we saw so many videos there. In July 20th, 24, a resident driving in South Beach, Miami, flipped off some officers as he passed them. Despite this action being constitutionally protected, the officers proceeded to pull him over and unlawfully searched him. Dennis? It's all good. I'm filming now. I'm on it. I know. I see it. Red light in there. Said, but you know what? He's not supposed to touch my property. You know what I mean? Even if you don't know me, and if I have all the documentation, why you touch my property? What do you got from my side? If I already said, listen, I got a weapon on me, and I got documentation for it. Check my documentation. Don't touch my weapon. So you're gonna have a complaint on me. Sir, you not in. No, I talked to the sergeant because it seems like you know. Well, you're you polite to you. You're nice to you. Yeah, but you don't need you don't need to look. <laughs> look, make a scene, all the. Dennis, nobody's disrespecting you. No, I know, but you, you need all this. You don't need all that. Dennis doesn't like police. You already told me. And that's fine. This is opinion. That's okay. It's my opinion. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has to like us. You know? mm -hmm. It is what it is. But at the same time, Dennis, we don't know. The sergeant doesn't know who you are. It doesn't matter. I'm a citizen. Okay. I'm totally fully of my documentation. No, th nothing on me. I provide documentation. This thing, you don't know who I am and touch my weapon. It's not fair. One of the officers also got hold of his weapon, which was licensed to his name. The cops had no reasonable articulable suspicion to detain him, but it appeared their egos had been hurt quite badly. So it's my opinion. That's it. Are you the sergeant? You got a name and badge number? And I respect that. Yeah, of course. Name and badge number, sir, please. Yeah, because I'm recording now. Any badge number or are you a serial number? Seven eight eight. Thank you. I appreciate your professionalism. Always. I'm not a sergeant. Oh, I thought you are. When he said a sergeant, I said it. Hopefully someday, you never know, right? You never know. Of course not. You live on the beach now? Well, I'm, he live here in Euclid. I used to live in Aventura. Well, oh, I am. I am. It's just that I'm so upset with law enforcement and the reason that. But we're here to help you, bro. We're no, no, we're not. We're not. Come on. We saw so many videos okay, there. Enough. It's just. Forget the videos. It's a break of heart. I'm an ex-military. I'm like. Okay, forget it's, the video. Have we been. 
discourteous or we've been rude? No, not so ever. Even so, from him. No, no, no. It's so, just that the point that he touched my weapon is, is just... Hey, hey, uh, you know what? It, besides it, that, it's just all good. You're going to come back. You're going you're gonna to get it back and you're on your way to... You know? These officers need to have thicker skin, as they just can't go around and detain people just because they don't approve of them. It seems these cops have an issue with needing to be liked, leaving little room for freedom of opinion. Dennis, if you don't mind, yep. okay, when I give you back the firearm, as I said, I, I don't know you. If you want to take the clip out, I put no, inside my bed. All I'm going to do, so I don't give it to you back in your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it in your bag and once you I know the procedures. Yeah, sure, sure. If you wanted to take it, it's no, I don't carry one Listen, on a, on a... Even though, even though... I appreciate it. You obviously broke the law, and you're aware of that, right? What you did was wrong. And, it doesn't matter, you, you flicked me off, as you said. I don't care about that. Uh, your opinion about me, I wish you had a different But you see, you guys changed it already, your opinion, you see? Huh? You see, already changed the, the, my opinion because I never got in, in touch and uh, no, in contact with law enforcement. You told me you don't like police. No, I don't like police anymore because yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I have a federal agent as a uh, as a girlfriend for five years. Listen, I did a police academy. I'm ex military, but now I'm not well, supporting anymore because. Do you mind giving me your back? So I can put the gun in. Oh yeah, sure. And you can you can keep it on me. I'm gonna put it in your back here. But you can put it right here. Here's my thing from right the gym. Old sweat stuff. All I'm gonna do is drop it right there. Can I grab? Can you give it to me? Uh, no, no, no. The bag's gonna t stay right there. Okay. If you don't, if you don't give it. I do not consent. Put, you can put it at you the weapon right to there what, to grab my bag. You give me because I have to grab your no, bag. No, I do not. I okay, said. So how am I gonna get your bag? <laughs> no, I see. You said you're gonna put my weapon on my bag. I am, but I, that's I, what I'm I saying. I don't wanna put the weapon here. I'm so you want me to move back. away? And I don't that, want you to then. move away. I want you to give me your bag and let me put the, the gun in it there. That's what I want you to do. That's all, that's exactly, that's it. Too concerned for the officer's safety, the cops didn't return his weapon, but instead demanded his bag so they could put it inside. I wonder how many people's rights will be violated in the name of officer safety. You have my, my wallet is in there? Dennis, there I have your wallet. Camera, man. Oh, Bert, Bert, can you hold those things? Dennis, yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Locking it for you, closing it here. Thank you, sir. All right. Hey, you name it, badge number? Yeah, I'm Sergeant Sosa. And it's oh, you Sergeant Sosa. Oh, I'm sorry, you said he was a, a sergeant. No, I'm the, I'm the one who stopped you. All right, yeah, yeah, I know, I know that. Okay. Sorry about flipping you off. It's a free of speech. There's no. nothing wrong with that. You guys training with that thing? But you got me, and I'm sincere that I was in a, in a bike lane, and uh, and I don't know about the helmet thing. I'm yeah. gonna check it out. If you're not wearing, a, if you don't have a, I think it's ten thousand dollar liability insurance, then you need to wear a helmet. Even on the uh, on the streets on uh, normal day, why, why he says in Florida not because the heat? You got a sun strokes and stuff. I reach for my wallet to put it that back on his his own right in his pocket here. You saw my birthday was yesterday. It's August too. What day? Oh, you're Leo. Well, it's a public thing, so I can find out, right? I can find out how much you 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 you, you make and everything. Exactly. It's all clean. It's all good to go. Everything up to date. But. Finally, the illegal stop ended, and the poor guy was free to go. But only after these thugs had violated his rights. This guy was not able to school these cops as well as this auditor did. Do you have ID on you, sir? Sorry, I'm gonna ask you questions. He doesn't sir? have the ID, you know that. Okay, what's your name? Who? I'm give that out. He doesn't have to give that. In July 20th, 23, First Amendment auditor James, who goes by his YouTube channel, Gorilla Cop Watch, was pulled over by an officer. The cop claimed that James failed to stop at a stop sign, a claim James was not ready to accept without question. Uh, no, I'm okay. How can I help you? Jimmy. Yeah, can I help you? What's going on, man? I don't know. How can I help you? Hey, uh, so as I was pulling up, you didn't stop at the stop sign up on Tabor. Uh, yeah, I did. I was there for a minute. You didn't. Not when I was pulling up. All right, well. What do you want to do about it? Well, why I'm conducting a traffic stop. So that's your RAS for not a complete stop? Yes. All right. The reason for stop is that you're good for that? Well, that's just California law, isn't it? I don't know what that acronym is. All right, then. Can I help you? 
Can you get your name, both name, name, badge numbers, real quick? Yeah, we'll get that for you after this uh, stop is conducted. Everything should be in there. Uh, yep. Registration insurance. The auditor handed over his documents, but the officer had many unnecessary questions. As expected, James made sure to teach him a lesson and to stand up for his rights. Whose car is it? Uh, it's, it's, it's family. You can run the plate. Oh, I know that. It's Anderson. Is that like mom, dad, grandma? It's family. You don't have to worry about it. I have permission to drive the vehicle. Okay. All state. Any probation or parole for anybody in the car? It's a standard. Do you have ID on you, sir? He doesn't Sorry. have the ID, you know that. Okay. What's your name? Who? Don't give that out. He doesn't have to give that. Can you give me your name? No. Uh, I'm the driver. That's all you're stopping, bro. You know that. All right, then. I can ask a question. All right, you can ask. I'm just telling you no. I, he's, it's my policy. Is he's in my vehicle. He knows that my rules are he's not allowed to give up his ID. So if you want to punish me, you can punish me. It's not a punishment. Well, then it is what it is. I'm just letting you know. He's not. He already said he's not going to give it. All right, then. I'll record it and you can you can you can okay. see. Just take that. Well, that's how you tackle these tyrants whenever they try to dominate and go above the law. Soon the officer returned with his documents and let him go with a warning. I'm trying to be as nice and respectful. Every hey. time we've come in contact you, we've been respectful, right? It is. Yeah, no. Hey, I understand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I have I'm not, a job to do. I'm right? just trying to enforce on the way I know how things are. And, and that's why I'm asking you, hey, what's your reason to stop me? 100%. You, you, I'm glad you, you told me before you, I had to get my ID. 100%. That's the proper way to do it. 100%. Anything else today? That's it, man. You're free to go. All right. Have, have a good day. day. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. The auditor was on his way after holding the officer in check who was trying to abuse their authority. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today we saw auditors take down corrupt cops who clearly underestimated them. Here's hoping more people study the law and continue to hold these misguided officers accountable. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.